was a heck of a baseball game. Everybody got a chance to watch. Um, two really good teams going at each other. Um, hard fought the whole way. You know, no quarter was taken, no quarter was given, really. Um, yeah, it was, a, you know, I mean, I can capture the whole game if you want, but just in general, you know, hard fought game. You know, dangerous guys on both sides. Kept them at bay, kept us at bay, and then, you know, one swing of the bat, dictated the night. Yeah, I mean, you know, listen, it uh, was a part of it. Um, you know, Gio, we wanted him in the middle part of the order, double switched him in, came out and had a nail issue um, that prevented him from going back out. Um, so, you know, appreciate the way he went through the eighth. Again, hard of the order, came in. Just, um, you know, it's been a recurring thing with some of our guys. And so we sent him back out knowing he wasn't going to pitch. And then um, we know they're going to burn, or we make them burn a guy um, with the Lux. And, uh, you know, we got McFarlane in there, keep him in the ground. You know, it's um, uncomfortable bats. We know they're going to go to Albert and Souza. Um, but we wanted a guy that's going to, you know, be around the plate and on the plate. Um, got through those two guys. and, and um, you know, Bellinger got away from us. And at that point, you know, it's not a um, – you know, Taylor's really good against lefties. He's not a guy that's on the ground a lot. Um, you know, we got a guy with swing and miss stuff. We got a guy that, um, you know, a little higher strikeout against righties. So we got – you know, we got an advantage. The first couple of sliders were, you know, really good. You know, swings we were expecting, and then he got one he could put a swing on. That was the game. Mike, what's the feeling like for Alex right now? Who's had such a great year coming back, and it was so strong for you for so much of the season. Um, I'm sure you know. I mean, look, we got a clubhouse full of guys that are hurting, Alex included. You know, this team didn't didn't come here just to play. This came this team came here to win and move on and and take down our 12th World Championship. So um, you know, that was the investment of our group since day one of spring training. So it hurts. You know, Alex is hurting. You know, when I talked to him about and gave him a big hug. Like I did everybody on the club was, we're not here without Alex Reyes. We're just not, you know. And he had his bumps and made adjustments in the second half, got some huge outs for us. Obviously, in the first half, set a major league record for 24 consecutive saves. Made a little adjustment in the second half of the season, but uh, came up huge for us, you know. Was multiple times the first one comes up in New York. Extra innings, I mean, this guy's pitched really well for us right here towards the end. and. Um, you know, he's hurting. I just told him, hey, man, you walk out with your head up. You got a lot to be happy, you know, pleased about with this year. Send more message to the club. You got a lot to be feel good about. And you got a, you got, you got a reason to hurt, too. And, you know, I'm not going to take away the hurt because the hurt is what motivates you to move forward. And, um, but what, I don't want that hurt to overcome me either because there's too many positive things happen with Alex and this club to, to walk out with anything but their head up. Mike, how much does this one game that required so much tenacity and so much grit that your team has displayed all season long kind of play into wrapping it up all in one game? I yeah, said so right before the game, our team's got guts, man. Our team's just our team's talented. I want to represent this team as just a you know team of you know because it is it is a team of, of guts and grit and all the positive things that that you can say about makeup and perseverance and persistence and 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 belief in yourself and belief in your brother um, and so that that's all important too it's also a talented club that you know once we got healthy and got the parts in the right place you know feel like we obviously compete with anybody and um, so on display tonight this is what this team does it, it plays their tail off plays smart you know it plays hard there's a lot of good winning plays it's a place on both sides of the ball and um, you know we played a played a really good team and Fault, scratch and call, um, you know, held everything together in a, in a tough environment, which I love. You know, our guys, there's not one guy on our club that, you know, I felt like reacted to to an environment that was, actually we loved it. You know, loved the fact that it was, you know, I remember many people in the yard tonight, you know, 50,000 or so. Pretty big old stadium here you got here. Um, and getting after and enjoying it and, you know, but not one guy back down from any of it. Everybody just played, and that's a great sign of a winning winning players and winning team. Just came up short. Yeah. Mike, did you, did you think you had chances there earlier in this game the, the number of times your leadoff guy and the two guy got on base to, to kind of make this game? 
Oh, we had our chances. Yeah, for sure, we had our chances. You know, um, thought we did a good job. Obviously, in the first, you know, we were opportunistic at every turn, pretty much like we were all all season. You know, we get there and um, right off the bat, we take advantage of it. And, and um, you know, Eddie reads the ball. The base running was big for us right in the first. You know, we get a bag. You read the ball in the dirt. Got a one nothing game. Took a couple you know, bag later. Um, did all the little things, but we had opportunities. You know, we put a a lot of good at bats on um, on Scherzer, you know, and got him out of there in, in, before he could complete the fifth. Um, so we got in their bullpen, which is really good, as we know. You know, I mean, it's a good club. <laughs> yeah, by the way, congratulations to the Dodgers. You know, um, good for you know graduations. But um, you know, we took great at bats against Scherzer. Had some chances later in the game, just couldn't get that proverbial big hit um, to to give us that lead. Uh, not necessarily. I, you know, we were going back and forth. You know, always, um, you know, get Yachty's feedback, especially with with Wayno. Um, trust Wayno. We talked over before the game. Some of you guys and ladies have asked about what he, you know, what's great about him. There's a lot of great things about Adam Wainwright, but one one thing is he gets better as the game goes. And. Um, you know, early in the game, he was feeling for his stuff and still made pitches. Got the big double play ball on turn. Um, you know, that was huge. You, you know, you trust a guy like that. Um, and then he goes back out. You know, he's got a little higher pitch count. He's got some rest behind him. You know, obviously, he's taking the ball a lot this year. Um, we weren't necessarily going hitter to hitter, but, um, you know, Justin Turner got him earlier in the game. And frankly, you know, that was the matchup that I didn't particularly like for him because he's not a high ground ball guy. Um, and so you know it went out, you know, he gets he gets Mookie and then um, you know he walk you know or he gets he rather and he gets he walks Trey. You know, at that point but the fifth he earned a six. Because the fifth he started to hit a stride, quick inning, everything was crisper, but you know as soon as Trey got on um, just and I don't think it was the most popular decision. <laughs> and uh, probably made for good TV, but um, but made the decision. You know, fresh arm, get him in there on, uh, get Louie on, on Justin, and you know, got out of it, got a clean seventh. So um, typically, you know, Rob Wayno, but he just felt like at that point he he had almost emptied his tank, and you know, got a different guy on him. But I thought Adam was tremendous, and uh, you know. Came up after me goes, well, I could have got out of it too. And I said, oh, I, I believe you, Wayne. There's no question about it. But um, he gave me a big hug. And so anyway, I thought Adam was fantastic in a big moment. Yeah, the fifth was clean. Clean was The fifth was clean. And, um, you know, again, big game pitcher, let him go out. You know, he can take an at bat, um, give you a quality at bat, send him out for the sixth. You know, like I said, you know, um, as soon as he walks, Walks Trey. That was that was the that was it for me. But went with a fresh arm.